Hello friends, welcome back to Meadows Library Time. Today I'm going to read a story called Big Red Lollipop. But what this story is really about is two sisters and some birthday parties. So here we go. Big Red Lollipop by Rukshana Khan. I'm so excited I run all the way home from school. Amma, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go? Sonia screams. I want to go too. Ami says, what's a birthday party? It's when they celebrate the day they were born. Why do they do that? I don't know. They just do. Can I go? Sonia screams. I want to go too. I can't take her. She's not invited. Why not, says Ami. They don't do that here. Ami says, well, that's not fair. You call up your friend and ask if you can bring Sonia or else you can't go. But Ami, they'll laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. Sonia screams, I wanna go too. I say, look, Sonia, one day you'll get invited to your own friend's parties. Wouldn't you like that better? No, I wanna go now. I beg and plead, but um, I won't listen. I have no choice. I have to call. Sally says, all right, but it doesn't sound all right. I know she thinks I'm weird. At the party, I'm the only one who brought her little sister. Sonia has to win all the games. And when she falls down during musical chairs, she cries like a baby. Before we leave the party, Sally's mom gives us little bags. Inside, there are chocolates and candies, a whistle, a ruby ring, and a big red lollipop. Sonia eats her big red lollipop on the way home in the car. I save mine for later. Sonia doesn't know how to make things last. By bedtime, her candies are all gone, her whistle is broken, and the ruby in her ring is missing. I put my big red lollipop on the top shelf of the fridge to have in the morning. All night, I dream about how good it will taste. In the morning, I get up early to have it. Sonia's already up. When she sees me, she runs away. I open the fridge door. All that's left of my lollipop is a triangle stuck to a stick. Sonia! I hear a sound in the front hall closet. I should have known. That's where she always hides. I shove aside the coats and boots. I'm going to get you! Quick as a rat, she scoots through my legs and runs around and around the living room, the dining room, the kitchen yelling, Ami, Ami, help, help! Ami comes out rubbing her eyes. Sonia runs behind Ami where I can't get her. What's going on out here, says Ami. Sonia says, Rabina's trying to get me. Ami puts her hands on her hips. Are you trying to get your little sister again? She ate my lollipop, the greedy thing. She ate it. Ami says, for shame, it's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? I want to cry but I don't. Sonia runs to the fridge and brings back the triangle stuck to the top stick. Look, I didn't eat all of your lollipop. I left the triangle for you. See, says Ami, she didn't eat all of it. She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So I have to take it. Go ahead, eat the triangle, but I don't. With all my might, I throw it across the room. It skitters under the sofa. Sonia scurries after it and eats that too. The worst thing is that all the girls at school know if they invite me to their birthday parties, I have to bring Sonia. I don't get any invitations for a really long time. Then one day, Sonia comes home waving an invitation. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys and cake and ice cream. Can I go? Our little sister. Maryam screams, I want to go too. Sana says, no, I can't take her. She's not invited. Ami says, well, it's only fair. You went to Rabina's 
friend's party, now Ravina and Maryam can go to your friend's party. I say, leave me out of it. Ami says, fine then, you have to take Maryam. Now it's Sana's turn to beg and plead. Ami won't listen. Sana's begging so hard she's crying, but still, Ami won't listen. I could just watch her have to take Maryam. I could just let her make a fool of herself at that party. I could just let her not be invited to any more parties. But something makes me tap Ami on the shoulder. What? Don't take, don't make Sonia take Maryam to the party. No, says Ami. No, I say. Ami thinks for a moment, then says, okay. So Sonia gets to go by herself. After the party, I hear a knock on my door. What do you want? I ask Sana. Here, she hands me a big green lollipop. This is for you. Thanks, I say. After that, we're friends. The end. Big red lollipop. So I didn't realize that some people don't celebrate birthdays the same way I do. I found that interesting. Another thing I really liked about this story is the way the big sister's feelings change. She doesn't force her little sister to take their little sister to the party. She convinces her mom that she should go alone. And that's something we call empathy. We understand how someone else feels. And in this case, the older sister did something about it. I hope that you can do a kindness today too to someone, whether it's in your family or somewhere else. Whatever you do today, have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time. Bye.